For any positive integer n, the sum of the first n positive integers equals n times n plus 1 over 2. What is the sum of all the even integers between 99 and 301? First thing I'll say is this is a somewhat annoying question because the first sentence, it is mathematically true, but that first sentence doesn't really help you answer the question that they're asking in the second sentence. It's, it's only a related problem. If we were adding up all the integers from 99 to 301, then that formula might be useful. Instead, we're adding up the even integers, so that formula is useless. So what are these even integers we're adding up? Well, of course, the first is 100 plus 102, plus 104, plus dot, 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 dot. And then later on, we'll get down toward the end of the sequence, 296 plus 298 plus 300. So we're adding up this whole series. The way that you always add up a series like this, and in fact, this is the origin of the formula that they give. The way that you always add up a series is you pair things off. First of all, biggest with smallest. Here, 100 plus 300, that's 400. That pair adds up to 400. We'll then take the next pair, 102 to 298, that also adds up to 400. Then the next pair, 104 plus 296, that also adds up to 400. So you see we can make a bunch of pairs, and each of these pairs will add up to 400. Well, how many of these pairs do we have? Well, we're going to have numbers going from 100 to 198, and those are going to be paired with numbers. The top one is 300 going down to 202, and from 100 to 198, it turns out we have 50 pairs. So we have 50 pairs, each one of them adding up to 400. Well, 50 times 400, that turns out to be 20,000. And the only number that's not included in any pair, the only number that's all by itself, is 200. So we just add that separately. Add in that 200. That gives us a grand total of 20,200. And this is answer choice B.